directed by George Miller, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga starring Anya Taylor-Joy. Chris Hemsworth and Tom Burke in the lead roles is finally released on the big screens. As the post-apocalyptic action thriller is finally released, we thought this would be the perfect time to discuss the top 5 hidden details and easter eggs from the film so that you can have the best viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the film. But if you're done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. At the beginning of the film, we see Furiosa and her friend Valkyrie in the forests of the Green Place. If you don't remember Valkyrie, she is the same woman who lured Furiosa's convoy in Mad Max Fury Road asking for help. Max believed it to be a trap, but Furiosa approached Valkyrie and revealed her ties to her older clan. After descending from the tower, her entire group called the Vuvulini, consisting of other older women, started to appear on bikes. They later joined her quest to claim the citadel. She helped them pursue Joe's convoy and shot a bunch of Joe's war boys down. However, she got run over by Joe in the end. In the beginning, we see the history man depicting the story of Furiosa and the way he was sitting reminded me of this emotional scene from Mad Max Fury Road. The scene where Furiosa falls to her knees after knowing that the green place is no longer there. However, in the last part, we saw the Vivellini being a woman-only team, but it seems unlike the Amazons, the warrior clan of Daughters of Ares, the god of war from Greek mythology, their community is not completely devoid of male members. Now, the second thing we want to talk about is organic mechanics. Immortan Joe saw Furiosa for the first time at the meeting with Dementis and he asked Dementis to hand her over to him if he wanted the deal to happen. Joe knew that Furiosa was not Dementis' daughter and he wanted to take her in as she was a full life, unlike the human flesh-eating mutants also known as his subjects. Joe knew that Furiosa could potentially become one of the breeders, so he put that condition in front of Dementis. Apart from Furiosa, Joe even took Organic Mechanic, whom we saw in the last film because he believed that the man with all his knowledge could prove beneficial for him. He is probably the one who designed the blood transfusion process in order to increase the life expectancy of Joe's war boys. A process he claimed to perform on Dementis and we saw in Mad Max Fury Road when Max became a blood bag of Nux, the war boy. In the last part, as Angarad was on the verge of death, this guy cut her body and removed the baby from her stomach. He informed Joe that the diseased baby was a healthy boy and a full life. The warlord gang disturbingly felt somehow proud about this fact and announced the innocent baby to be a warrior. Now third, let's talk about the Mad Max connection. Eventually, as Dementis was busy torturing Jack, Furiosa ripped herself free from the changed macabre remnants of her arm. She staggers across the desert, bleeding out until she is spotted by someone donning a classic MFP leathers and standing beside a car which I guess was none other than a black Ford XB GT Falcon Hardtop, popularly known as the V8 Interceptor in the Mad Max universe. For those who don't remember, Max was quite obsessed with his car. Maybe the car and his dog filled the void created by his wife and children. So did Max meet Furiosa before the events of Mad Max Fury Road? It can be speculated that it was Max who saved Furiosa from dying in the desert and brought her to the settlement near the citadel so that she could live. He perhaps dropped her off in the darkness of the night and left without saying a much needed goodbye. And if this holds true, then it can be suggested that a young Max did meet a young Furiosa in the past, perhaps didn't remember the meeting. Otherwise, he would have hinted at it in Fury Road. Or maybe Max did remember meeting her in the 2015 film when he trusted her so quickly in the movie. But whatever the case might be, I don't think Furiosa remembers meeting Max, as she had lost too much blood and was too unconscious to remember anything. Additionally, at that moment, she was burning with the desire to take revenge and most likely didn't have the time to ponder over any of these things. 
In the fourth point, we like to talk about hope and hatred. Throughout the movie, Furiosa is depicted as an angel, precisely a fifth horseman of apocalypse eager for revenge. But what the ambiguous end suggests as a whole is that she was able to grow beyond just a vengeful soul seeking revenge for her mother's death. Despite being extremely vengeful, she never forgot the promise that she made to her dying mother. Her main reason to struggle against all odds and survive all this time was to plant the seed. The seed signified hope. Dementus always told his followers to throw away even a hint of hope from their minds as according to him, the sheer idea of hope was a disadvantage considering the hellish condition of the wasteland. He asked them and even his enemies to put their faith in hate as hatred was the only drive that could pull them up from the dire condition. Hate is what made Furiosa achieve her impossible goal but in the end, she planted the seed of hope on the body of hatred personified which rendered it powerless. In the end, hope won and only after that Furiosa found her home but it was not the green place. It is now up to her to make the citadel inhabitable for the subjects of Joe and make it a paradise that she always dreamt of going back to. In the fifth point, we would like to talk about a few symbolisms that were there in the film. The world of Furiosa can be interpreted as a reimagination of Viking mythos in a modern post-apocalyptic setting. In this film, Furiosa embodies the classic reluctant hero archetype. Her developing relationship with Jack and her role in the fight against Dementus serve as a path to atonement for her past failures. Furiosa's character can also be described as the archetypical warrior woman akin to figures like the Greek goddess Athena or the Valkyries from Norse mythology. Her strength, combat prowess and leadership are central to the narrative. The Green Place once fertile and life-giving represents the lost Eden or the Great Mother archetype, a nurturing environment destroyed by corruption and desolation. The many mothers or Vovellini symbolize the matriarchal aspect of this fertility myth. They are the keepers of seeds which represent hope and the knowledge of the green place and represent a link to a lost life-sustaining world. On the other hand, the barren wasteland and the characters traverse echoes the theme of a hero's journey through a barren, hostile environment, a common motive in mythologies worldwide. Water symbolizes life, purity and rebirth. Immortan Joe's control over water signifies his power over life itself. The breeders and milkers represent how women are ever giving and their treatment like farm animals can never be justified, not even in a post-apocalyptic warlord tradition. Joe and Dementus embody the tyrant archetype, a corrupt ruler who hoards resources and presses the people. The war boys and the biker horde represent blind loyalty and the destructive potential of fanatical followers akin to the warriors' hordes serving a dark lord in many mythic tales. The harsh, relentless sun in the wasteland represents the trials and suffering faced by the characters, a common element in hero myths where the hero must endure and survive under extreme condition. And if we consider the film Mad Max Fury Road, as well as the fall of the citadel and the release of resources at the film's climax, they symbolize the death of the old tyrannical order and the birth of a new, more hopeful era which is similar to Norse mythology's Ragnarok. The citadel becomes Valhalla, not for the fallen hordes but for the heroes who fought for it and wanted to change it through the application of Ragnarok. Thank you for watching the video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you in the next one. Till then, goodbye and take care.